Hi, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling on r slash tumbler. If you like this video, please hit like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Wait, immediately if I was, I have to open in a new tab. <sighs> My new hobby is making fake alcoholic drinks out of jello. Hence, you do a glass of wine, but I tip it over to prove it won't spill like a Dairy Queen employee with a blizzard. <laughs> Fools, free show warm up. The song is called uh, Sea Veterans by Heads and Mohawk, and there's no better warm up track on earth. The innocence of this 13 year old video. No. I love practical effects. I love practical effects, and it's just a piece of paper on fire. I love that. Can't wait to see the end of the F of the Final Phrase movie where it just has Mark Plyer's face cam in the corner reacting to everything. <laughs> Drop the idea that you need some deep philosophical or meaning behind your tattoo. If you got tattoo, so because it's, it's aesthetically pleasing or and for no other reason than and good for you. Aestheticism is a theory of art for art's sake, and it was championed by Oscar Wilde with the belief that for adding Blends up with beautiful things can directly influence the person what it becomes. I'm taking a class on it, so basically every time you get a cool tattoo or a bridge you can find it in an antique store or a pretty wall print just because you like it, Oscar Wilde is nodding approvingly. My sole mission in life is to make Oscar Wilde's ghost approve of me. I mean... If you got a tattoo... Doesn't really matter the reason why, because you were able to sit through all of that freaking pain of getting that ink on you. The reason doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Broken? Why Petal needs nerf? Backline slash support diversity. This video talks about a Splatoon weapon whose appearance resembles a pencil, but taken out of context, it looks as if it's calling an actual pencil overpowered, and I find that hilarious. Should should not be stronger than a sword! Well, you'd be surprised. I hate how the Splatoon logo got oversimplified. The first between logo was really cool. Then we have this one. Then we have Squid Game. Then we have. Oh. <laughs> I get it. Poor old Granny Scorpion shoes. No one ever saw her death coming. It was Pneumonia. Yes, her pet scorpion pneumonia who lived in her shoe. Tragic. He shot a point blank. This reads like a Monty Python sketch. I mean, I feel like it would be. We have to keep on scrolling until we find one that we can read without scroll without having to do that. That's a new rule I made for myself. There we go. Starting with this one. 
My browser already forgot what it was. I love when this happens. What about you? My favorite genre of alien picture is little gray aliens just naked in the woods. Like, why the fuck are you here? You have a spaceship. Why did you come to Earth? You just sat in the woods and look at us with no clothes. This is like top tier comedy to me. What the fuck are you doing, man? The Earth is just our expensive nudist colony. I could see that. <laughs> Come on. We're loading, loading, loading. It's slow as heck, but we're loading still. Where did you learn to fight like that? I have three older brothers. Really? Yeah, Will doesn't play the first table on a chess team. Chess used to start crying every time he heard a sad song. Dan can really... He rock a cocktail dress and six of heels, and I wasn't going to let anyone give them shit for any of that. So I had to learn to be a people bigger than me pretty early on. This is my new favorite post. Whenever there's a female character who fights, it's always because she learned from, old, from older male relatives. I'm going to put this post to put on my wall because it gives me new hope for humanity. Honestly. I've already spawned my tomboy face. If you want free books, go to the freaking library! Just reminder that Amazon is not a library. When you read a retarded book, it costs the author. It's soon first, and I owe Amazon at a moment because uh, people are reading through the news series and returning the book when they finish. Authors eat, eat, need to eat too. Well, today's estimate aided royalties. Negative three dollars and eighty-two cents. Guys, stop being crafty creators. You aren't hurting Amazon, you're stealing from writers. This is an extremely frustrating trend to watch happen. Any writers already work so hard and there's nothing they can do. Amazon doesn't give a damn, they profit either way. Please download Libby if you want to access free ebooks that were legitimately purchased by a library. Hiring people like this means they can't afford to write books. Certified fuck Amazon post. I hope that every post of mine is a a certified fuck Amazon post. I by post I mean video. Oh no. I'm coming for your dad in more ways than one. Wrong vlog a wrong vlog wrong vlog fuck. I beg you, stop giving this notes. <laughs> Duolingo, why did you do this? Duolingo is threatening us with some real stuff now. This is Korean. This is Japanese. This is Chinese. There are difference. You know what the funny thing is? I actually have... A like chart thingy somewhere, or at least I did, where I actually had all of the hiragana for or, or Japanese written out with the uh, um pronunciation of them. So given enough time, I could probably figure that I went out, but I won't. It all looks the same to me. <laughs> Update your phone or computer. Garfield and Pukachu. They really mess with the name, but 
Yeah, sure. Me and my sexual lover. It's still better than Twilight. So better than. No, wait. It's so better than Twitter. It's so better than Twitter. So better. <laughs> <laughs> Beam attack that puts you in a bad apple video. My goodness. Oh gosh. Oh no. A duck comes bearing onions. This refers to something so convenient as to be unlikely, like a, like a duck bringing its own onions to cook with it. Anybody else recognize this as the basis of the Pokemon Farfetch'd, which is why it's called that. Keyleth and people will dis rediscover trivia that everyone knew in 1998 because it was on the Did You Know or Fun Facts section of a million in Angel File fan sites. I do not know what Angel Fire is, but I do not know if I want to. I love when loading takes forever and hurts my eyes. Liberal fighting games. Gays Blue. Street Friender. The Queen of Fighters. Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Heteronormativity. Tekken Back, the means of production. Soul Calibur. Guilty Gear, Fatal Furry, They Dems Fighting Herds, Overwatch, Tony Ehawk, Pronoun Skater 2, You Forgot Baldur's Gate 3, Your Royal Gayness, Medal of Home Allied Assault, where is Bayonetta? Team Fortress? Minecraft Fair. <laughs> I'm not sure if some of you know what a fighting game is. <laughs> Literally. This is your last S warning. The next time you vandalize Wikipedia, you will be shot. We will change your auxiliary verbs from is to was. Hmm. We're going to see you in a minute here. <laughs> Anonymous asked, Hey, are you offended by the word bitch? I'm going to send you, send you a hate anon, but I saw that you go by she, her, and I respect women. Don't let anything stop you from being a hater, King. Sorry, this is my first time saying an anonymous hate message, so I'm a little nervous. Thanks for being supportive. Take your time. Websites hate mail game is perplexing. <laughs> I love that. Do you think there's someone out there on this site who is completely non-LGBT yet has all their identity written out in their bio in the format of someone with detailed microlabels? Like Kyle, he him, heterosexual, 
heteroromantic, cisgender man, monoamorous, football fan, baseball enjoyers do not interact. Count on mine is here because his trans girlfriend gets made him get in county. He's been earnestly trying his best to fit in. <laughs> well, he's trying. Damn, that's a big one. That's a big Tumblr to post. That's that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Come on, load the big Tumblr post, please. It's loading. And we're zooming in. Okay, let's bake a cake. Butter, 9%. Sugar, 7.9%. Eggs, 8.9%. Flour, 70.2%. Milk, 6.9%. You know what? It's going to win. Baking powder, 5.8%. Vanilla extract, 43.3%. Love to be part of the problem. I don't know what the ratio is, but I'm pretty sure something's wrong. I just clicked on what I thought would fuck... The cake up the most if I add a lot. Well, everyone, can we for have slay off the vanilla extract just a little? Vanilla sweet! That's nice going, and yet you make vanilla gruel. Well, that's not going to work. Guys, I think there might be too much vanilla extract. Can't be mad at how terribly his recipe is going when I voted for the most popular one. <laughs> I think they tried this again, and I voted for the most popular one, which was, of course, vanilla extract. <laughs> oh my goodness! You see this person just like, what the hell? So they got like their other ingredients just floating in this bowl of vanilla extract and nothing else. This one person here just foaming at the mouth and squirting vanilla extract. Oh, I'm quite sure it's a description here. This artist's rendition is like a renaissance painting, and it, it is the most thing I've ever seen affection. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Classic. One year! Let's make a cake. Butter, 7.2%. Sugar, 5.7%. Eggs, 8.2%. Flour, 50.5%. Milk, 4.7%. Baking powder, 6%. Vanilla extract, 52.7%. Vanilla extract. Bake it again! Butter, 5.4%. Sugar, 5.1%. Eggs, 4.5%. Flour, 12.3%. Milk, 4.2%. Baking powder, 3%. Vanilla extract, 65.5%. Tumblr said, fuck you. I am so proud of Tumblr for that one. Oh my goodness, look at Snuggles. Their favorite hobby is napping. Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! His favorite hobby is napping. <laughs> that hurt my voice. Oh gosh. Another long one. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh gosh! Please tell me either you've seen footage of Barnaby swatting over a plant of boxes and swearing into his own oh, film overnight. What? Ladies and gentlemen, the former deputy prime minister of Australia. Update: Someone marked the crime scene. <laughs> In memory of Barnaby Joyce being told he fuck our drunk that at time, 8th of January 2024. Oh my goodness, they did not. Second update, plaque has now been erected. For our international followers, 
Fire Eater Droids is Australian two time Deputy Prime Minister who, who cosplays as a down to earth firebird despite having been a banker and an accountant before entering politics. Being a lifelong best mate with a mining billionaire and having attended one of Sydney's most prestigious and expensive private schools for growing up. Along with half of his parliamentary colleagues. Barnaby is probably best known for being the reason a book ban was introduced to Australia's Parliament House, making it illegal for politicians to have capital to have sex in the capital after it was revealed he had gotten his apartment if he gave pregnant while on a job. This was problematic on two fronts given. A he was already very married at the time, and B, he was campaigning, campaigning against gay marriage on the grounds of protecting the institution of marriage. How ironic. Needless to say, he was clowned out of office for this, and also clowned some more when he went on TV with his mistress and tried to claim it could be anyone's baby, despite knowing it was his kid. Byron B proceeded to dump his wife and move in with his PA, Vicky, only to walk into another PR disaster when it was revealed his new digs were, were being provided rent-free and what, what most would consider to be a giant fucking bribe. Also, his former wife responded by becoming a professional bodybuilder. Despite losing his job as Deputy Prime Minister over this, Barnaby regained the role a few years later by enrolling the acting Prime Minister in the middle of a COVID outbreak crisis when the actual Prime Minister was out of the country and powerless to stop Barnaby's dumbass colleagues from temporarily putting him in the top job. Here's a pic, here's a pic of Barnaby pushing over a smile a child in his swearing in ceremony. The real Prime Minister had to zoom in. To give an idea of how much the public still hasn't forgiven him, a few days later, Barnaby was fined by police after a member of the public of them in for going into a patrol station without wearing a face mask, as was required at the time. Other than that, you might know also Barnaby from the time he tried to murder John Depp's pet dogs, Pistol and Boo, after he said Depp would only be allowed to leave the country with his, with his pups intact if the Hollywood actor uploaded a, his bizarre hostage video about Australia's quarantine rules to an official government YouTube channel. This is not the first time Joyce is drunk Uncan actors have gotten him into trouble, with the man having previously also fallen asleep in Parliament in what many suspected to be a drunken stupor. Anyway, we'll leave you with this last pick, reminding you that this man has on many occasions been in charge of, of an entire continent. Follow oh, for more batshit moments in, in Australian politics. Also, it's revealed he was a Kiwi dual citizen and kicked out at one point because... Uh, wasn't he? Like, I didn't imagine that, right? Such as the volume of this map and bad shittery that we completely forgot the other time he was kicked out of Parliament after he revealed that he was a citizen of another country. New Zealand even nominated him for New Zealander of the Year just to take the piss out of him during this incident. Barnaby Joyce nominated for New Zealander of the Year following his issue in Ship Bungle. God damn. Australian politics go hard. <laughs> I think that one of the most terrifying things that could happen in, this, in a dystopian setting, at least in newer ones, is to go through all the efforts in raising a resistance group, a resistance against the government, only for it to deploy nuclear bombs on you and your rival friends. I mean, it is a dystopia after all. You think no one else ever tried to rise up against the system? But wouldn't you think that the man in charge wouldn't have a problem blowing its own population? The fact that they would pay taxes. A hey, or everything is the same, but no. Uncle draws Luna the way AR key draws Iggy. It's Saki chan. I'm Luna. I've been searching for you. Oh gosh. True, 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 true. Oh my goodness, what the hell? What did they do to Luna? Why does that scare me so much? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, we're gonna uh, have a good video today. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be great. I need to stop at some point, don't I? Alright. One of my favorite tropes in is character with a nasty, toxic personality who tries very hard to do the right thing anyway. I like my protagonist sad, tired, bitter, fully convinced they will never get the recognition they deserve, but they still gotta get up in the morning and be a good person. You were in customer service, weren't you, OP? Hey! <laughs> Hit the nail on the head with that one, huh? I sure do love when red things um, just take forever. The little guys on the side of the nerd boxes, love them. Oh, look at these little guys. I like them. I like them too. Boneless Yoshi. Shut up. Don't. Don't ever speak again. Lumge. I can't even say that. That's a weird name. Anyway. Another long one. <sighs> is it permissible to eat pork in Minecraft? Is it so forbidden to do so in a video game because the main character, Steve, is a reflection of yourself in a virtual world? I'm pretty sure God revealed Minecraft to Notch so that Jews would finally have a place to eat pork. Definitely do not Google Notch's opinions on Jewish people. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. I've recently heard that Notch is actually transphobic, which is just so gross. I can't. I'm dying. I mean, surely a rabbi somewhere has written a paper on this, right? There's a whole wealth of precedent and prior research. Like, is it fine because it's fictional or not because it's a reflection of you? And does that change if it's a freeform game like D&D where you can control your actions more directly and it's meant to be more directly you versus a game which happens to use pork chops as the HP recovery mechanism, but it could have been anything? And is there, if your game, game life is in danger, can you do something in the game normally the impermissible by Jewish law thing? How about eating pork in Minecraft is not, in fact, eating pork, but commanding a simulated character under your control to eat pork so you may not command the character to eat pork if the character is Jewish, as it would be leading either a Jew to transgress or the image of a Jew to transgress, which might make other Jews think this is acceptable behavior. So it might be permissible, but it's not encouraged as it leads you to the to fight the evil inclination. What? Is Steve... Even Minecraft Jewish, longest debate in criminal history, threadlocked after 17,000 posts. What the heck? I don't think it really matters. It's a video game. Why would God care about what we do in a video game? Really confused as to how my logo changed to Kermit the Frog, unless I'm starting to have hallucinations from lack of sleep. Still mind fucked. I found someone's Tumblr logged in on his computer and all I did was change the icon. <laughs> I 
All right, just a few more, and then we're gonna have to end the video. Okay, this will be the last one. Let's read the one that we just opened, and then we can read that last one. Come on. It's loading. This was the first drink from an Apple Vision Pro, a review that made me believe that we're all going to be using and learning into spatial computing soon enough. It always comes back to timers. For $3,500, you can get a Shinigami Eyes for pasta. We're all going to be using and learning and learning into spatial computing. This is a telltale sign of rich tech bro of Rain Rot. Oh, let's reinvent the kitchen timer, but... Worse and connected to Wi Fi. Fucking idiot. It isn't even worse because I just realized that you'd literally be wearing a $3,500 VR heads at while cooking your while you're fucking cooking. This shit would be stupid even if it cost $35. Gravely forgot that that was a thing and was wondering why I need to spend $35 to know if my pasta was transphobic. Was transphobic. <laughs> Wait, do people not know what Shinigami means? Damn. Ma, uh, um, a reblog chain I was a part of got posted on Red, and now Redders are making fun of my beloved mutuals. I'm mean, not making fun of us that seriously, it's not that serious. We were just being silly little goofy Ezekiel total about Ezekiel total drama and writers don't understand us as stays out ready window sadly. This may or may not be my fault. <laughs> Is it your fault or not? And hey, I'm not a writer, I'm a YouTuber. There's actually no difference. Oh, Oh wow, this looks funny. I'm sorry. I know I said the last one would be the last one, but this, this is too funny not to look at. And then we need to get the heck off Tumblr. How bad can a gr good girl get? Get good. How bad me be? Dink meme. How bad ad can I be? <laughs> a girl could get bad be. He's a fuck him, and that's good. How? Leg, 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 leg. Ah. Uh... Eggnog, 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 yum. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. The fuck is this post? Tumblr users play with JPEGs like they're dolls. Pretty much, yeah. Are we done? Okay. Upside down is starting to get boring. Right side wrong. If you want to have some fun with it, right side left. Right side red. I don't know what you add to this, but it feels valuable. <laughs> what downside up? Actually, no. Okay, I need to stop. That was r slash Tumblr. I almost forgot to stop the video and just kept on scrolling. If you like this video about Tumblr stuff, I don't know. 
Please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> and hey, if you, if you actually get this far and want to comment something on the video, leave me a suggestion for tomorrow. Like, should I talk about what's going on with Nichi Sanji? Should I talk a bit about stuff like... <clears throat> <sighs> How to avoid getting into the situation that Urha rushed Rishia uh, got into, or how I'm going to avoid that. I don't know. Leave whatever you want. Leave a comment down below. Please give me suggestions. I love those. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, Goodbye!